this video we're going to talk about v if the v if directive in my last video we went through the v4 directive so let's go ahead and we're going to add on the project we started previously and see if we can include a v if statement i'm going to open up my terminal and launch my development server Okay, I should be able to launch it in my web browser. We're at localhost 8080. And here we go. This is what we did last time. We're using a for loop to loop through a list of cats. We'll slide that over here. I'll bring up VS Code. And here we go. I'm going to actually zoom in on this. Hopefully it'll make it a little easier for you guys to see what we're doing. Okay, so in our previous video, we created this cat card. We're using the V4 directive and we're looping through a list of cats. Now, I wanna clean this up a little bit. There's, there's a couple things that we can do. Right now, we're individually passing a title, uh, MSG or message, and a link. I previously did it this way because I wanted you guys to see how to pass props down to a child component. But in the real world, we might not pass every single individual prop. Maybe we just pass the whole item and let our cat card sort out the rest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of these props right here. And I'm just gonna create one prop, which we're gonna call cat and it'll receive an object all right so if i jump up here instead of link we know inside of each individual item we have an id a title a message and a link so if i receive the cat object i should have cat.link cat.title and cat.msg so I'm gonna go ahead and save this, and it's actually gonna break my project over here because I need to fix it in our app.view file. Now that our cat card is set up correctly, go ahead and save, and everything disappeared. And that's because we're not actually passing the cat prop yet. We're still passing each individual prop. So let's just change this title to cat, and instead of item title, we're gonna pass the entire item. And then I can get rid of these two. I'm saving, and there we go. So we're passing each item, one of these objects right here, we're passing it the entire object, we're calling it cat, and then we're coming over here to our cat card. So we're receiving the cat object, and then we're using cat.link, cat.title, and cat.msg. We've just cleaned up our code a little bit. I think. I like to keep my components, I like to make these as clean as possible. Uh, sometimes you'll see these and they're like a mile long list of props and things and it makes sense to give the cat card the entire object and then let the card decide what to do with that object. The other cool thing is we're going to come down here and we're going to add another piece of data to our list of cats to each individual cat. Since we want to try out the vif directive, I'm just going to add right after link I'm going to add visible and true. So we can go ahead and copy that four times. All right, so now we're passing in. We didn't have to add anything up here since we're passing in the entire object. We're passing in this, this new property of visible, and it's a Boolean, and it's set to true. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. We haven't broken anything over here, and I'm going to come back to my cat card. Now we don't have to actually add anything because we're receiving the whole object. So let's go ahead and we're gonna try out a v if directive. I'm gonna put it right up here in the root div and I'll say v if equals, and then I wanna say cat to get the object and then visible to get the property of visible equals true. So I'm saying if cat has a property of visible and it's equal to true, go ahead and do the rest of this. 
We'll save it. Every, every single cat is set to visible. So we're good. Let's go ahead and see if this V if directive is working. And we're actually going to change one of the cats. Instead of true, we're going to pass it false. Let's do our first cat. I'm going to change this to false. And I'll do command S to save. And as we can see, visible is set to false. So we lost our first cat. I'm going to change another one to false. So cat and bigger cats is going to be false. We'll save. All right. And we can see both of them disappeared over here. So we're using the VF directive. And when you use VF, you also can use V else. So if the cat is visible, show me true. But what if the cat isn't visible? What do you want to what do you want to do? You don't have to provide an, a V else, but you can. So let's go ahead and try out the V else. All right, another important thing that I'd like to point out about Vue, and this is version 2.0. I hear rumors that 3.0 is going to change this a little bit. See how I'm getting this squiggly red, letting me know that there's an issue? One very important thing about Vue 2 is that there can only be one root element inside of the template tag. So right now we have a div and we have a div. The way we can fix this squiggly right here is we're going to put them both inside of a div tag. All right, so now we only have one root element and that root element contains additional elements. So we got our div, 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 and div. So right down here, we can say v dash else. And so if for some reason our cat isn't set to visible, what do we want the cat card to do? And for mine, I'm just going to say this cat is not available. And I'll save. All right, it didn't hot reload. I had to hit the refresh button. But as you can see, our V else did work. And I'm just going to put this inside of some strong tags to make it bold. All right, so we have this cat is not available. Let's go ahead to make this a little bit easier to read. I'm going to add a HR just to separate them a little bit so we can see there's actually four separate cats here. And you know what? Let's also, let's number them. Let's go ahead and put like a, a number in here. So we'll say right here, we'll just do, uh, we'll use an H2 and we'll pass in the ID. Since we we're passing the entire cat object, we know if we look at app.view, we're also receiving an ID. So let's go ahead and put that right in here. So cat.id, all right. So we have two and four, and then this cat is not available. So let's go ahead and we can use the mustache tags down here. And we can say cat.id. So if the cat's not visible, we're showing the ID. Let's see the ID of the cats that aren't visible. All right. And there we go. One, this cat is not available. Two, provides us some information. Three, this cat is not available. Four, provides us some information. So let's, let's go ahead and change this one from false to true. Pretty cool. So we're using the VIF directive to check whether or not a cat is visible. If it is visible, we're showing the information that's provided. If it's not visible, we're just letting the system know Hey, this cat's not available. All right, and there's one more V if, and that is V else if. So let's jump over to our cat card and see if we can use the V else if. I'm gonna add another div in here, and we'll do V else if. All right, and let's close that off, and all right, so V else if. Okay, so we have V if cat is visible. So if it's visible, show it. Right now, cat three is not visible. So that's bigger cats. We made that not visible. But for whatever reason, we've decided, you know what? 
if the cat isn't visible, don't show it, except if it's bigger cats, which is cat three. So let's say v else if, and then we can say cat dot id equals three. So we're saying if the cat's visible, show it. v else if the cat id is three, we're gonna go ahead and show it, but we're only gonna show some very limited information about cat three. We're not gonna show the URL and the message, just the title. So let's go ahead and copy this down and paste it right here. So we'll show the ID and we'll get rid of the link and the message. So we already know cat three is not available, but we do wanna show a little bit of information about it. So we say v else if cat ID equals three, and this is the information we wanna show about cat three. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. I had to hit the refresh button, it didn't hot reload. But now you can see cat three or ID of three only shows bigger cats. It doesn't show the URL or the message. So we have a V if, a V else if, and a V else. Let's go ahead and change the four to false just so we can see all three options. So here we have cat one is set to true so we can see it. Cat two is set to true so we can see it. Cat three is actually set to false, but it has the cat ID of three. So we're gonna display slightly different information for that. And then cat four is not visible. It doesn't have an ID of three. So we're saying V else, this cat is not available. So we've used v if, v else if, and v else to display different variations of our cat card. Go ahead, play around with this, change some true to false. Maybe instead of using the cat ID, try using the cat title, maybe the link based on the link you want to display it. But go ahead and try out different variations of this v if. That's all I have for you guys today on V if, V else if, and V else. If you like the video, go ahead and click the like button. Uh, I'll be posting more Vue.js videos, so hit the subscribe and the little bell icon so you get notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one.